I guarantee you at one point these grapes were delicious. There's some old dead grapes and blackberry. We're gonna get all this pulled out and then we'll have access to this, which we're not even sure really what it is. You'll have to come along with us and find out what this thing is, what's in there. We have no idea, we've never been in there. But you know what, I'll give you a sneak peek. That's the best I can do right now. Looks like uh, Herman used it for starts. Some trays, some bee boxes. Well, we'll find out in a bit. Okay, so you guys think you can save that? Yeah. That's actually, that's a good size for you guys, isn't it? That's, that. yeah, well no, down here, up here. That's a really nice size for you. You guys could lift that. Yeah. Yeah, we have bolts and all the hardware, so we need a new tire and handlebars. Yeah, look at the side. Small. Yeah, I'm sure it's all mismatched. That doesn't matter. All right, cool. Well, hey, look at that, boys. Yeah. I always love when they find stuff that they can actually use. Yesterday we were up and we pruned that plum prune tree. We weren't really sure what it was. We'll find out in the next couple of years. Prune that back, fix the power line, and we got in here and did a whole lot of cleaning up. But I want to show you something. I love this. These are our goats and they are out and they're grazing. Now, this is right on the edge of our land. This is a clear cut down this hill going that way, but I let them kind of go along the edge of this clear cut and graze. The dogs can't go over there because of the invisible fence, but these guys really don't go very far. They just go along the edge of it and then they slowly work down the side and they go back up the hill this way and they are back home. So there is a lot of brush here. I'll admit that, but this isn't technically our property. It's on the edge of our property. And so there's not really anything I can do about it other than allow the goats to kind of graze along the edge. They do sometimes go down the hill a little farther, but generally when they're going down there, they're just grazing a little bit of grass, some shrubs, stuff like that, and then they come back up. What did we get done yesterday before it got too dark? Let me show you. Found a whole lot of trash. Some of it's trash trash, and some of it we can use in the future. We found a bunch of planting pots, and all the way through here, there's just a ton of on the ground, stepping on some now. We're cleaning that up. The boys have been helping me. While the boys are cleaning up the pots, I'm gonna run the excavator. I'll show you kind of what I'm gonna be getting into with the excavator. It is really soggy. So we are on top of the hill. We had so much rain that the soil is not able to absorb that rain. So for me, that's a challenge because it means building better soil up here is something that I can do, which means we can retain a lot more of that water. But for right now, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna come in and we are gonna be taking out a good chunk of these little prune starts. There's a lot of prune starts in here. Matter of fact, even trees like this are gonna come out. There's all kinds of issues with these trees. The other reason why I'm gonna take almost all these prunes right here out, there's a whole line of very healthy and good sized prune trees back here. We're gonna come in, we're gonna actually be pulling the root balls out on each one of these because I do not want these to start back up. And so the only real way to get these out is to pull the root balls out. Once we're done doing that, we're pretty much done in here when it comes to uh, the excavator. That's the only real thing we needed to do was come in and clean out these prunes. Come on, goats! Nah. Let's go for a graze. One, two. Come on, goats! Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Come on. Twenty-two and twenty-three. All right. Goats are out. They're grazing about. They actually just came through here and I didn't catch them on camera because I was too slow. They came through, they start grazing down the hill with the ivy is from last year where I had them. It's like they remember where that stuff is. And then they disappeared, went back in the woods. Okay, yesterday we got a bunch done. Boys came in and they got almost all the pots. There's still some pots in here that need to be raked up and cleaned up. A lot of the wood in here is actually gonna be brought over and put into a burn pile that's gonna go right there. Why am I gonna do a burn pile in the middle of the garden? Well, because all those ashes, all that char is so good for the plants. It's basically condensed elements and minerals, if you wanna think of it like that. We're gonna go look in that shed in a minute, but before we do that, I wanna show you what I did over here and kind of what I think I'm gonna be working on today. Yesterday, after getting those prunes dealt with, 
I came over and I cleaned up in here a little. And this area was all bramble from here over. I cleaned up a lot of this. I'm still not done. And matter of fact, I'm gonna have to do quite a bit more work in here and I'll show you why. The cleanup of this area is just something I'm gonna have to do during the summer. The reason why is right now the ground is so wet that if I try to bring the excavator in, uh, well, it'll start to slide. And well, down there is about a 30 foot drop. So I really don't wanna take a ride in the excavator down over the side. So I'll wait until summer and I'll bring the excavator in right here and right through here, I'll cut a path. And then we'll use the Kubota and the excavator to remove all the trash from here and we'll be able to clean it out. I can go down and try to do a trash bag at a time, but that's gonna take a long time because there's probably a couple years worth of trash there, which is unfortunate. But it's what happens when you buy these old farms and you get the rough farm deal. I'll put it that way, it's a fixer upper farm. All right, I will show you what I did with these grapes over here. They were really fluffy. They had a lot of big growth that was going over to a greenhouse structure that was over there. The way that Herman has kind of shown me, it's pretty straightforward. So you're looking to leave three eyes. One, two, three. Here you go, we got one, two, three, and take off the rest of that. Come over here, we do the same thing. We got one, two, three, maybe four on that one, just because it's really short and small. That's kind of how Herman's explained it to me. I'm gonna give you a little quick demo, quick explanation. All right, let's go look in that shed because I keep promising we're gonna look in there. And I, at this point, I think I'm just teasing, right? All right, I, I wedged the door open, but I haven't really got in there and looked to see what's in there because I wanted to do it with you. Now, do I think there's treasure in here? No, not at all. All right, let's take a look. Whew, it's rough, it's real rough. He had some honey boxes, so maybe he did some work with honey, with bees in here. I don't think he had the bees in here, but he had the honey boxes in here. So there's that, there's some old bucket of plumbing parts right here, a sprinkler and stuff in there. It looks like this is where Herman had his Sprinkler fittings and stuff. Oh, here you go. He obviously did starts in here. Here's all his little containers. A lot of containers and trays in here. I'm not sure if any of them are going to be good. A bunch of honey boxes. Some random stuff in here. Let's see. Oh, look what we have. I wonder if this works. Look at that. Oh, it does. Let's see if this other one works. These are really nice. I have one, but... Oh, yep, that one works too. I can smell it. it. smells musty. All right, let's get in here. Get my pruners out and see if I can walk through. There's a lot of vines in here. I'm not sure what these vines are. I think they're black. Or raspberry, maybe. I know he's had some, maybe marionberry. I know he's had that poison oak right there. Isn't that? It's not getting any better the deeper we go, but it's, it's what it is. Oh, we got a couple old space heaters. Oh, those are really old space heaters. I always like those old things. Even though they don't, even if they don't work, they just look cool. I do need to be a little careful because just because these bee boxes haven't had anything in them potentially for a really long time doesn't mean there aren't bees in here. How do I know that? Well, when I was taking down Herman's old house, I came across a big old hive. Matter of fact, we still have that hive. I relocated it into a hive box. And it's actually done really good. I'm curious what's in the boxes. Uh, I'm pretty sure those are bee boxes. I'm just not sure what kind of bee boxes. Most of the stuff that Herman sold me when I bought the property, um, I was pretty aware of, but he never mentioned anything in here at all. So we're gonna get a look. Let's see, will it open? And will there be anything in there? Nope, nothing's been, okay. Oh, this may not be I wonder if these are, huh? Do you know what these are? Put them down in the comments because I have no idea. I've never seen these before. They have a screen on the bottom and nothing on this side and a little piece of wood with holes in between and then a couple holes down here. And they obviously are used for bees. They're stacked up like they're used for bees, but I have no idea. Are they used for pollen collection? It's the only thing I can think of because I've never seen them before. We'll see. All right, well, overall, there's not really much in here. Got a few things. We may be able to use this for doing starts in the, maybe even this spring, if we can get it cleaned out in time. I definitely need to get it maybe power washed, get all the grime and stuff off of it, 
I never even knew this was here because, well, it was so overgrown. And Herman, to be honest, never even told me he had it. And so it was kind of one of these things that was back here. I kind of had seen that there was something back there. I could see it through a few of the cracks and kind of like you could get a little peek of it. But that was it because it was so overgrown. All right, we're going to get the excavator going. We're going to get cleaning. Hoping to get in here and clean up these grapes, hopefully today, maybe, maybe this afternoon. We'll see. The boys are coming up right now. I can hear them driving up. And not only are the boys coming up, I found our goats. Our goats are right over here. Goats. Being goats. Hey, boys. You boys ready to get some work done? You guys done with school for the day? Yeah. You get all your homework done? Yeah. All right. Well, I didn't feed the cats, so Clay, why don't you go feed the cats? Clint, get to work. All right, everything was going as planned, and then I had a brain fart. Excuse my language. It was. I knew there was a power line going between the, the main box and Herman's cabin. And as I was lifting my bucket, I know you know where this is going. As I was lifting my bucket over these grapes, I caught the line and I pulled it down. You can see it's right here. I pulled it down right here. And you're gonna, don't touch it, it'll get you. It won't get me, It's everything's good, we're all good. So I pulled it down, it's not a big deal. <sighs> right boys? Yeah. yeah, exactly, see they know. It just pulled it over. So I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna put everything back. Let's see if we can get this uh, put back together without your dad uh, becoming... Uh, Electrocuted? Well, I was gonna say fried bacon. Yeah. All right. Okay, crisis averted. We got it back up. Every time I work on any little project around here, I always find little shortcuts that were taken. And the shortcut taken on this one was they did not thread the pipe into the little box. At another point in time, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna come back and I'm going to disconnect the very top. It's kind of like the gooseneck on the top of that. Right there, that little gooseneck. You can untach, you can detach that, and then I can thread the whole entire pipe into that box. So I'm not gonna do that today because I don't have my tools with me, but at least I know it's, it's on my list. I know it's there, I know it has to get done. Let me show you what we got done before I rip the power line down. So these grapes right here, I just pruned. They were a pretty wildly bunch. Now that these are pruned, good enough, we'll be able to train them over the next couple of years and have really delicious grapes right here next to the cabin. Matter of fact, we have quite a few little Grape patches, we'll call them grape patches, around the property where Herman had taken out the rest of them, but he left part of a row. So we have one here. There's one right there. There's one over in the corner. And then there's one over here that I just pruned earlier. All right, we're going to keep cleaning. We got a mess back here. Look at this. So the plexiglass is fine as long as it's not brittle. And the, these pallets are pretty rotted, but we can throw them in the burn pile. The tires need to go to town. The expanded metal needs to go somewhere. And then we got a bunch of junk over here and that shed is going out of here. We got some stuff done. We got this area pretty cleaned up. We still need to prune the tree. Look at this area, we're starting to clean this up. We still have a boatload to do. We didn't even get inside. Didn't even touch it. Didn't have time. Ah, came over and we got this area cleaned. I just mean I got the branches all out of this area. This is the area that we pruned last week, and I still need to prune these two trees, but we pruned that last week. This week I came in and we cleared all this out. Got a few more branches that need to be picked up. We have some potting trays and pots that still need to be picked up. The boys are helping me with that. It's a pretty easy one for them to do. We got a heck of a burn pile. So because I know there's no trash in there, 
I had no problem burning it right here on top of the garden because all those ashes, all that will go right into the garden and get spread out and be great for the garden. So this area is starting to feel a lot bigger, especially now that we got a bunch of it cleaned up. Now, the ground is absolutely a mess. As you can see, I've taken what was fairly flat garden and really destroyed it. There, there's nothing I can do about that. This is the process. Trying to get in here and get all this cleaned up. I'm gonna use the excavator because it makes the work a lot faster. And it's, it is what it is. We still have a little bit of junk around the edges that need to be cleaned up. And we got a bunch of stuff over there we gotta clean up. But most of that actually came from this little shed that we're gonna be tearing down. And so because we're gonna be tearing that, tearing that shed down, we've been taking everything out, figuring out what can go to recycling, what can go in the trash, what can go to the metal scrapper, and what can be burned in the case of like a bunch of old boxes that can get burned. There's gonna be a lot of work to make sure this area stays cleaned up in the future. Let me explain. There used to be Marion berries in here. There used to be grapes in here. And there used to be all kinds of shrubs in here. It's gonna take probably two to three years of continuously dealing with them, digging the root systems up, cutting them back to really get this to the point where I can just come in and put like no dig beds. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna do a lot of digging. There's just nothing I can do about that. When you have woody vines, woody uh, shrubs, stuff like that that have really good root systems that also shoot up sprouts like blackberry, like grapes, well, there's nothing you can do. You just do your best and then you keep after it until you don't have anything. About two years ago, we came in this area and we took out a bunch of Marion berries. Well, as I was coming through here today, I found a lot of Marion berry sprouts. And what had happened is they'd grown inside Herman's garden on the, on the ground. So that stuff is gonna be stuff that we're gonna have to kind of keep after. It's gonna take a couple years to get this all really to the point where we can come in, we're not fighting that stuff, especially since I'm not willing to poison it. Now that we got this pretty much dialed, let's go and put our goats away because I think they're up top waiting for us. What do you think? All right, well, I was a little early, but they are right over there and they're coming. I can see them coming right now. Oh, hey, goaties, you guys ready? Come on, let's head on home. Well, there's most of the herd, got a few behind me. They're all coming, they're all gonna head in. Come on, goats, is that all of you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 of them, she's got a pretty full udder. Where's this, what's that in the bag out? Just a wee bit. See if anybody else. This is always a good time to see. Oh, well, that's not an udder. That's BB King. Come on, there we go. Well, they weren't quite waiting for me. I might have come up a few minutes early, but uh, I was only off by a few minutes. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us this week on A Simple Life. We appreciate you stopping by.